The stability ball dead bug is a great opportunity for us to challenge the core and stabilize the position while we are learning how to move through our shoulder and through our hip. That's going to transfer over into movements like squats and deadlifts where we have to maintain that neutral spine while in movement. So the way we're going to set this up is land on our back. We are going to tuck our butt underneath us to get that low back flat to the ground. My knees are going to be positioned above my hips. We don't want to let it fall and force us into that extension. I have that tuck. So I already have some tension in my belly. Then I'm going to bring the ball to rest in front of the legs and the arms will be positioned on top of the ball. Now we're going to start with just some gentle pressure. But as I increase pressure into the ball, I should feel my core ignite more and more. That tuck has remained with my lower body. My ribs are pressing into the ground to maintain that flat contact the whole time. And the harder I press, the more tension I feel. Now we're going to start with moderate tension. And you can start by just lowering one leg at a time. To the floor and back and switch it. The entire time trying to preserve that tuck and that tension into the floor. Now if you've mastered the legs, you can progress to the arms and legs with which we're going to go opposite arm and opposite leg. Set your position, create that tuck, find some tension, and opposite arm and leg reach. That's a great exercise where you can increase the intensity very easily by pressing into that ball more and more. It doesn't take a lot to make this incredibly challenging, so as you progress, create more tension, master that uh, stability in the core, and get those abs working.